everyone. What's going on? Uh, welcome to, I think it's just my second vlog under the banner Thursday Junior. Uh, for those who don't know, that's kind of a teacher term just to make it feel like it's easier to get through the week when Thursday is referred to as Friday Junior and then you get Friday and then your week is over. So that's what it is. I'm not a teacher, but Hey, I do work with teachers, so I, and I do live with a teacher, and I'm married to a teacher, because that's the same thing. It's not the same thing, but whatever. So, since the last vlog, geez, what can I tell you? Again, 2024 and Papa G are just button heads like two fierce competitors, and honestly, 2024 is, is winning. So, concussion, January 4th. Finally get back to work early March, full time again, and push myself to, not wouldn't say my limit, but the first few weeks leading up into the, the spring break, which is only a week, but that spring break for those five days, man, did I work. And as soon as I got in, uh, first thing in the morning, right through till it was time to go home, and most days I was there probably just after when I was supposed to have actually left. Uh, and I, that just shifted something, something that's been festering, something that's been laying dormant, like Voldemort. Let's just get some reference, pop culture references, shall we? But I've got a compression fracture in my neck. So what does that mean? That means uh, well, a few things. It, depending on how I sit, how I turn, my posture, angles, the whole bit, it sends just this shock down my left side, and it's kind of like cold fire. And my, my fingers go numb, and it's just, it's not good. So... I have an appointment to see a nerve doctor, which I've had the nerve test done before. I've had it done on my right hand as I have had carpal tunnel surgery or the procedure where you basically, they numb you, you stick your hand through a sheet for a while, you kinda, you don't feel any pain. You just kinda feel things happening through this sheet. And then by the time your hand comes back out, it's all bandaged up. And you don't feel nothing until you get home a little while later, and then it kind of hurts. And, uh, yeah, so uh, they kind of floss out all your bits so you can kind of see. I've held a chef knife for nearly 30 years in my right hand. Not for Michael Myers Appreciation Day, but that was a job that I had for quite a number of years. So... Also, I use my left, I'm a righty, but my left arm is very dominant when it comes to a lot of my uh, my work. So, uh, so it, it's really difficult um, to say the least. Sleeping is horrible, I'm, I'm miserable. So this doesn't help my anxiety. This does not help my depression by any means. If anything, I don't, with me being home, it's my safe space, it's my, it's my bubble. But it just makes me feel like I'm closing myself off even more. I mean, the pandemic, like, uh, I was gonna say SARS, that's, that's going back a while. Uh, COVID, sorry, woo! Uh, when, you know, the whole COVID thing, yeah, we were all basically on lockdown for a while. I had one of those jobs where I actually got to leave uh, lockdown for a couple hours and actually I quite enjoyed it because the roads were very quiet. Um, driving starting to really, really wear on me. So thank goodness that Carter has, uh, he's, he's doing pretty well. He's driving so most of the time I'm just like, yeah, you drive. But I don't know if the stress level is higher or lower to when he's driving or to when I'm driving. But uh, but it's nice to have that. I can't have that driving myself to and from work five days a week, which is a minimum half an hour one way and a half an hour, obviously. Well, it might be about 25 minutes coming back because there's a lot less traffic at damn near midnight. 
But what else? So yes, yeah, so I haven't been to work. Um, I'm supposed to be going back. Today is the 17th of May. So technically 10 days from now, which is Andrea's, Andrea's birthday, the 27th. Uh, the last uh, paperwork that was sent in says I need to be off longer. Although it did mark that I was okay to stand and I'm okay to sit. Uh, I will say sitting, this 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 chair with all the er ergonomic bits and stuff on it uh, has been a blessing, regardless if the gas shock to keep the chair up higher, as you will see in some live streams and some videos that I kind of gradually just sh shrink a little bit. So, hey, the chair was free. Uh, this This feels so much better, but I can only sit in this for so long. Um, what else? I can't, uh, with having this, I am supposed to do virtually nothing. And for a guy who keeps very busy at work, that's a tough thing. I can't, again, lounge and watch TV. All, it, it, no, I can't do that. That just bugs me. So I have been piddling around with the collection. Uh quite a bit uh, i've done some pictures you guys have seen the the cart the the, not the yeah the carded the carded wall uh 2.0 i've redone it again because the previous hanging uh materials were just garbage again thank you carter for telling me after i bought them from your establishment and then noticed that they were just peeling off the wall uh, so yeah, anyway, command strips, thank you. You work beautifully. Um, so yeah, so the anxiety, it, it, I, I don't know uh, what to tell you. I mean, the concussion has kept me away because of the screen time and the headaches that I was getting from lighting devices, TV, computer screens. So if anybody has been wondering and watches this particular, like these vlogs, again, these are for me, mostly. This is for me to download, not to keep all the, all the garbage in my system. And honestly, I should have, this, this should be like number five, six, seven, eight, uh, around there 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 have been days that I really wanted to sit down in front of a camera just to just uh, just to spew it and just to get it out uh, so it doesn't sit and fester um, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it um, I just I don't know uh, some days very few. I feel. I feel all right. I feel comfortable in my skin, uh, and maybe that's because I know that my interaction with people, like being in the same area, like face to face, just I don't know what it is, but I. I it's just. It's, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I maybe it's. I. I just don't have a lot of local. You know, buds, uh, buddies, and friends, and whatnot around. There's a couple, but primarily, I do feel I am on, on my own quite a lot of the time. And being on your own a lot of the time, you got a lot of time to to think about things and and to blow things out of proportion, like just to make things just seem so ridiculous and like well what are, you know and how come this isn't happening for me and okay you know the the the, the self-pity and the woe is me and it's just it's just a uh, just a vicious circle i have been making i think i've been making some progress on trying to curb some of my eccentric in my eccentric I don't know however you want to say it but just some personal whatever's again uh my boxes I don't collect them it's every once in a while and I'm not gonna lie I have collapsed and just 
been so upset that I've got that I actually got rid of all of my boxes. Uh, 90, 95 percent of the time, I actually feel good about it. I look in certain areas where I know that I've had like, geez, one was one a washing machine box. It was a big damn box, and that held quite a few Black Series boxes. It was insane. There's there's pictures. Uh, if I'm if I decide that I'm gonna do some fancy things to this vlog. Maybe I'll put a video of some of the boxes that I had laid out on my driveway. But one guy drove down like uh, one an hour, two hours away, and took them all, and and that's it. So now when it comes to opening up, like yeah, here, latest, you know, this is like rip it, shred it, get rid of it. I don't know how I feel about that anymore now. I, it's like there's like a little piece of me that seems to have gone. And I understand that's probably a hoarding tendency. But, uh, I don't know. Again, most days I can get bought. I, I'm, 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 I'm like, hey, good for you. You, have, you, you know, so I've packed some stuff away there's still boxes I haven't even gotten to uh, some days I'm happy with what I've been doing down in the basement and the other days I'm just like no no I don't like it it should be full filled like so full that I can't even grab one figure off the shelf without knocking the whole shelf down or, or maybe the whole unit all together you know um yeah, I don't know, guys. <sighs> so, uh, what else has been happening with me? Um, like nothing, nothing. But, you know, like I've been kind of put myself into a, a background character role I think if you if you will in real life uh, and well just all in real life and and other like what other is there besides just real life but I guess with my online presence you know and and just business and personal um, I guess like this is me straight out like take it or leave it either you can handle the ums and the odds and the oh my god that that Canadian guy is starting to break down you know and I get it but I don't know there have been days a lot of days that th this has been very therapeutic having the channel just so I can sit here and you know, the verbal diarrhea coming out of me will just be gone and it feels like a huge weight has been lifted every single time. But, <sighs> yeah, I'm not the only one, I know this. I know there's a lot of us, I, I, I do feel better knowing that more people talk about uh, mental health, especially being 50 and wanting to, to you know. And I've been, I've been, sh and I've shared with with you I mean, right from right from day one. And I'm not. Shame, it's, it's, not the, it's not the right word, but I don't, ah, I, I, yeah, I, <laughs> uh, this is, hmm, see, I'm getting the club now, oh, no, but, I 
I still do take great comfort feeling that I'm surrounded by friends and family behind me, uh, across from me over on, like, it feels like I've downgraded, but then again, what you don't see off camera, there's another massive shelf off camera from here. And yeah, there's been a lot of changes and, and, and decluttering. It's all little busy jobs I'm trying to give myself. I'm starting to really slow down, but my model building or diorama building or platform building or riser, whatever you want to call it, I'm, I'm getting back into that because of as all this purging and getting rid of has opened up more space so I can pull a chair up to a table kind of out of sight and and try to watch a YouTube video on how to do uh, whatever for painting a brick wall or doing a rock feature or whatever. I'm, I'm you know what, I've got a few of my own little bits out here and I'm quite happy with them. But that's kind of where I'm trying to let out my little, little things that just sit inside of my head and they just don't there's no place for them to go but uh, yeah but summers were six weeks away for the end of the school year for my my air Ontario, whatever. I think I don't, I'm not sure how all the other provinces work. I know the states; uh, they do get out earlier than uh, than we do. But yeah, we six weeks till the end of the school year. I hate not knowing what my immediate future holds for me. Am am I gonna be going back? Uh, are they gonna be okay with? The, the notations that are on my form saying that I'm not ready to go back yet. Like mentally I can go back and believe me, I am stressing thinking about, it's just been a rotation of random people looking after my building. Uh, I'd love to see my teachers before the end of the school year. If not, it's not gonna be till September before I see them again. And that's even if I'm back at that building. I have, oh, I've missed the window. Um, I am looking to try to get closer to home. I don't like the drive. It, even though I work afternoons, I, I again, another thing, wanting to get on to a school for days just because it's it's been nice to be home in the evenings every day again this is something i am so not used to uh, i mean yeah i've worn a number of hats in my lifetime uh for careers but i mean almost 30 years of of working in 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 restaurants and hotels and and bakeries and what have you and if any anybody who knows anybody who's ever worked one of those one of those jobs it hmm, it's evenings it's weekends it's holidays it's it's whatever you can get your hands on to to put out a a, a laughable wage not a livable wage a laughable wage so so I, again, always gone on Andre, my wife, all day, day, day jobs. Uh, so yeah, you tend to see everybody for a few minutes in the morning and let's be honest, in my house, most people here are not morning people. So it's better off if you just don't talk to anybody. Let them do what they need to do. It's so routine that I'm just like, yeah, I'm not getting into any of that. Because if I ask, see you guys or whatever, everybody is still groggy 
and maybe a little annoyed with me because I am home and if I want, which I do because my brain doesn't want to shut off till minimum three o'clock in the morning that yeah, I go back to bed because I get a, I go to bed at three, sometimes four up by after seven just to, to make sure Carter and Riley are starting to rise and shine. And then the three, you know, both the, both of the, well, I can't even really call them kids. They're not really kids. But, uh, and my wife, all are gone by eight o'clock, 10 after eight in the morning. And then it's myself and it's the cat. So, and then I work by myself. So I, you know, I, it's a weird thing because yeah, you get used to it. You kind of count on the silence, but you're also screaming on the inside going, man, I really wish I had somebody that I, you know, I sat, could sit down with on my breaks instead of just being me or talking to myself out loud. And those conversations don't always end up all that great, but, um, but yeah, you know, it's, I'm trying, I'm trying. And I'm just trying to put focus to where it needs to. Uh, honestly, really, I should have been sitting down for the last few months trying to learn how to actually run my channel or do anything. But I just, one, I wasn't supposed to, and, and two, I just didn't even know where to begin. Yeah, okay, you got Google, you got whatever. I just, yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a hands-on guy. I'm not a, I'm not a book person. I'm not a get on there and, and oh, that's it, <sighs> whatever. I'm good to go. No, you show me, and it, it, it registers better. And again, that could be the, the cook in me because um, once it's ingrained and, and off you go. Um, yeah, it feels weird. My hands are very slow to repair but I mean if you were to go back and look at some live streams where I've shown my hands off pretty beat for just being a caretaker like the the calluses and, and whatnot were horrid but it's um yeah my hands just feel weird they're not baby 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 butt smooth but they're um they, they feel a little softer than they have in, in a few years, but I think that's all I got to really get out. Um, I mean, there's never any set time for these things. This, like, like I said, this is just me getting these things in, out. Uh, if anybody gets anything out of this, uh, awesome. Um, not saying I'm the best person to talk to, but you know, if you need somebody to, to talk to, shoot me a message. Instagram is usually always uh, the best. I, I'm not, I, I've, my Facebook's been a nightmare. I was gonna reopen my page. Uh, I somehow I've opened up some spam virus, like man, a second coming. Um, and I can't get rid of it. So, like, my marketplace is done. My messenger's all goofy. Uh, so, it's, you know, it's I can kind of see why I, some people don't have a big digital footprint or an online presence or whatever. Um, and, and, like, TikTok and, uh, honestly, again, I need this, this person right here to sit beside me and kind of work me through so um so yeah so again like i said if, you know if 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 you're feeling down and you're and you just don't know or whatever i mean really reach out it doesn't i mean if it's not me just just reach out um it's the best best thing you can do uh i know i've got worth i know i've got value um I wouldn't say I'm my, my, my biggest fan. I'm not, uh, you know, but I don't know if, 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 
some people, probably some people out there that probably are, but, uh, you know, day by day, again, some are better, some are bad, a uh, little here, a little there, but thanks for listening, thanks for watching, um, I, you know, again, like I said, I don't ever expect the vlog stuff to get very many views, I don't do it to get the views, I, like I said, this is, this is more of a, a digital memory for me, just because we all know my, my memories are, my <laughs> memory skills are starting to slip, so <laughs> maybe I need to get re-lubricated or something, I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's it, I'm not going to do the mumbo jumbo stuff, because that doesn't really fit or apply here, uh, but I just want to say thank you to, to everybody, I want to thank and I don't know if anybody's going to get to the end, but it's going to get repetitive for the next little bit. But um, I want to thank all the G-Stringers, past, present, maybe some that are thinking about coming and joining the G-Stringers. Um, you know, I, I think I've taken, I've taken you guys for granted a little bit, um, and I'm, I'm trying to get that that changed um so uh i just said you, you guys have always been very supportive you still are and uh i just i just wanted to just say thank you like there are days that maybe i i don't say anything and and what have you but uh but yeah um i i you know there's been some really black days but coming out and at least talking and I know it's it's me looking at myself chatting away until my voice is nearly gone some days but just reading some of the comments and whatever there are sometimes I can picture uh, just a big group of us just sitting around together just sharing some stories and, and having a couple of laughs so I think that's where I'm gonna leave this one um, because that's all I got left to say are ums, uhs, and likes, you knows, and uh, yeah, whatever. So, I'm hoping the next vlog will be a little sooner rather than later. Uh, yeah, and uh, again, if you, if you watched all the way through and you really listened to the whole, like I said, this isn't really supposed to make a whole lot of sense to anybody. Uh, but, um, you know, again, it just, I always keep stuff to myself for far too long before I decide to reach out to talk to somebody. So, um, if this can be an, an early warning for somebody out there, uh, don't be like me. Just people care. It, it, people get busy, uh, uh you know, uh, COVID kind of, it's not gone, but, you know, it's definitely sitting in the back seat, I think, in a lot of people's minds. So, uh, again, the community and everything that felt more, I mean, it's still tight knit, don't get me wrong, but uh, considering live streams and everything, every single day on everybody's channels, back and forth and whatever, it was, it was a rush. And then life kind of came back. And we all had to kind of settle back in again. And I still think I'm still, I, I, I'm having a hard time with it. But, um, but yeah, I've been in a lot of streams. I've, I've watched a lot of people's content. I've just kind of, like I said, I've taken a back seat. Just kind of been in the shadows, enjoying content while I just haven't been able to deal with any of this. And uh, so... Just that little bit. Awesome. So, just want to say love to everybody. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for watching if you did. So, uh, later, eh? I guess. That's how we do it. Man, this was a long one. Maybe I should split it into two parts. But, like I said, if you, even if you watch a few minutes of this and you get something out of it, um, that's excellent. So, take care. We'll see you next time. Later. Yeah.